Um, good afternoon. I'm I'm Shashindran Anjali, and I'm representing my team 140067 from school Sir Ellis Kaduri Secondary School West Kowloon, and our project is more about a finger counting trick. Um, this idea of a, the project comes from a finger counting trick. Let me first introduce this trick. We have to. Um, we have to use five fingers and say a statement, I will never ever show my middle finger again. And as you try for the first time, in the first round when you say nine words, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it'll, it'll land on the fourth finger, so then the fourth finger has to be removed. And on the second round, and we, as we, con we count again, and the, first, the thumb will be removed as it is the first finger. And as we go on, as you will know that the third finger will be <laughs> It will be the remaining finger. So um, we are not actually trying to focus on the swear word of this project, and we are kind of we want to focus on why does it always land? I mean, just for counting nine words uh, with five fingers, why does it always land on the third one? Why not the first one or the fourth one? Then, after numerous trials, we have found out that um, different numbers of fingers and words will also vary the position of the last finger remaining. So we have de decided to develop this trick a bit further as a project. Um, so since no person in this world has more than, no, no more than 10 fingers or even 100, uh, we have decided to use sticks and pencils to help us develop this project a bit further. And um, this project studies on the original problem that we have not ever come across before. Therefore, there's not much theories we can base upon on. We can make use of some easy techniques like mathematical induction, divisibility, remainder, etc. To present this counting trick as a math project, we have defined the method of finding the position of the last finger, which is the solution, with the help of a function. RIFW is defined to represent the position of the finger removed in the ith round. Suppose there are F number of fingers and W number of words counted in each round. There is an integ integer K which is greater than 1 and smaller than F, such that W is concurrent to K modulo F. When put into words, the position of the removed finger in I, I mean, round I, the remainder of the remainder will be W. And the remainder is when W is divided by F. Which, and if the remainder is not zero, then the position will be F. And this is the, the one. Okay. And this is the example I've shown uh, earlier. And now let me move on. And we also have to use some data mining just to help us come up with, with some theory. And this is our first def definition we've come up with. Um, so, um, when we are counting um, n number of words with one finger, the answer is always one, as you can see, like if I'm counting like nine, I mean, I'm counting like three words, like one, two, three, and of course, the answer will be on the first finger. And now let me move on to theorem one. Theorem one shows that if count, um, if counting one word with n number of fingers, the answer is always n. And we have used mathematical induction to prove this theory. We let pn fn1 equal to n be true for all positive integers n. When n is equal to 1, f11 is equal to n by the definition I've mentioned earlier. So therefore, p1 is true. And assume pk is true, uh, that is, fk1 is equal to k. When n is equal to k plus 1, the number of fingers is k plus 1, and the number of words is 1. Let the Now we, we label the fingers as finger 1, finger 2, so on, as the last finger will be finger k plus 1. And in round 1, k, uh, k plus 1, 1, is the first finger will be removed. And the remainder fingers will be finger two, finger three, and then so on to the last finger, finger K plus one. And now we remain, re rename these fingers as G1, G2, G3, and so else. So as the last one will be GK, where GI is equal to FI plus one, for I is greater than one, smaller than K. 
By assumption, FK1 is equal to K. It means that last remaining finger is GK, which is equal to FK plus 1. Since FK plus 1, 1 is equal to K plus 1, therefore PK is true. So by the principle of mathematical induction, our theorem 1, that means FN1 is equal to N, is true for all positive integers N. Now moving on to theorem 2. Fy plus ny is always equal to f, is the solution of this function is always equal to the function fy minus 1y, where n is a non-negative in, non integer. Take the example y equal to 9 and n equal to 3. By experiment, we found out already that f89 is equal to 6. Then we should, of course, then we can expect f119 should be also 6. This is a, this shows that eight number of, of uh, sticks and then we count nine words that the answer is six. So when we add up, uh, we add, now we have 11 sticks. We have 11 six, uh, sticks. Um, the solution is also, um, will still be six because in the first round, ninth finger is gone. Then the tenth, so on the eleventh. So it'll keep, and then now it's as the same as uh, the function f89. That's why the answer is also six. And we also m used a mathematical induction to prove this uh, formula. Um, this like. Uh, now let's talk about the theorem three. Theorem three um, shows that if r1 xy is smaller or equal to fx minus 1y, then fxy is equal to fx minus 1y plus 1. Or if r1 xy is greater than fx minus 1y, then fxy is equal to fx minus 1y. And the example here is that a first uh, function f516 is equal to 3. And if we add one more f uh, f uh, stick, and then you can see that on the round one, round one for six, uh, six fingers and 16 words, for the fourth finger is removed, which is on the which is on the right of the previous uh, previous function, so that's why the the answer is the same as the previous one. Could you remind us that in f of x y what x and y stand for? Uh, x and y. X is the fingers, and y is the number of words. Sorry to remind you. And this is another example. Um, when we for just compare this one, so we add another finger. We we seen that on round one for the, uh, for the when we add one more finger, that is now we have seven fingers. We realize that for the first round, the second stick is removed, which is that which is on the left hand side of the previous meets. For the previous one, the answer is three, and uh, now for the first round, number on the left hand side is removed. So that's why now the answer we have to add one. So then the fun the solution for the function uh, f seven sixteen is equal to four, not three anymore. And we have also um, used a mathematical induction to prove um, this f theorem as shown on the screen. And as shown in this uh, picture, the values, the, this is our result of our data mining, and our values are non-decreasing as we observed after the data mining. And in corollary 3.1, it shows that fx plus ny is always greater or equal to fxy for n is a, n is a positive integer. And we have used this theorem to make that uh, this uh, Excel table for the data mining. 
Moving on to theorem four, there exists a number p, which is a period where p is equal to LCM two, three, four, so on to x. Sorry, time's up.